Hi, welcome to Solid Edge ST10 video tutorial. I want to do that cross beam exercise in Solid Edge. And yes, it worked quite well. So let's have fun with Solid Edge. Okay, I've imported the step files and now I want to use those curves. So let's start with an extruded surface with that profile and it might be symmetric and I could go for let's say 420 finish cancel this out for that extrude I will have to make a plane and a sketch because I could use this one because it's a profile, but that's just a line. So I need a plane. So let's go for a plane, make it parallel. Or maybe it's already there. Let's take a look. I think I could use, I don't need a plane. I could use the, let me check. I could use This plane that would be the X, the front plane. Okay, so we'll do a sketch on the front plane on this one. I just want to import that line. So go for project to sketch and select that line. That's it. And close that sketch. Finish. Now I can, of course, do an extrude. Extrude it with this one. Right click. Just in one direction, maybe 700. finish and cancel this out. Now in order to make a fillet, go for home, go for the round and go to the options and make it a surface blend. Okay. And I want to use this surface. And I can't select it here, so I have to go here. And of course all the others, and this one. And I want to go for 200 millimeter. And let's check the arrows. It should go in this direction and in that direction. Preview, finish, cancel this out. So that would be the base, the first base. So go here and rename it. Make it base one. And I will need an offset of this surface. So go to surfacing and go for, where is the offset? There you go offset from this body distance in that direction should be let's go for seven millimeter and confirm finish cancel this out and call that's the offset base so maybe rename this one as well and call this one offset base one and I will give it a different color just in case so go for view go to the part painter make it maybe 
blue or cyan or green let's go for green green dull and select it and close so I got those two surfaces right now next I want to do that small square emboss here so go for a bounded one shame would be okay and select it okay confirm finish cancel this out so that's another surface i could do it with a different color as well so it would be easier to see but not necessarily doing so now now let's go for a ruled surface and make sure it's tapered which means it has an angle to a selected surface this surface so go for root select the surface go for a chain and select the edge of that surface and it should go in the other direction so let's see if we can switch it like this now so the angle might be not 150 but maybe 30 this looks good 20 millimeter looks good confirm and cancel this out now a surface blend between this one and that one go for home round go to the options go for surface blend okay select this surface and that surface make it three millimeters first arrow should go down second one should go to the inside of yeah in that direction preview finish cancel this out now let's put those into a group and rename that group to base surface put those into a group and call this one square emboss okay now for my runway emboss and it's a little bit tricky not really tricky but you have to do it in a certain way so let's go for an extruded one with this one right click make it symmetric make it maybe 60 and finish and cancel this out now i cannot split this i can only trim it so i go for trim and i want to trim this body with that body confirm and i have to remove the side and confirm which means i destroyed my base surface but i will bring it back with an offset to the offset base okay now i could go for a, a move command i don't want to use offset because i can't do an offset along a direction so I want to move that should be a body this body confirm along an edge maybe along this edge and the point reference point would be this one so go up six millimeters confirm finish cancel this out now I could do a round another surface blend okay with let's start with this surface and select maybe this one looks good go for three millimeters first one should go down and the other one should go to the inside of that extrude so in that direction and preview finish cancel this out so maybe put those into a group 
and call this one runway emboss. Now in order to bring back my original surface, I want to do an offset to this offset base. So go for an offset surface to this one. That should be, of course, a body. That body, go in that direction, make it seven millimeters, and you got back your base surface. Cancel this out. And now I can do rounds between those. Maybe change the color of this one. Go to View, Part Painter, and make it maybe orange. Close. Okay, now let's do another round. Again, a surface blend. Okay, between this face and that one. Make it three millimeters and the first arrow should point to the outside. Yes. And the second one should go up like that. Preview finish. I need another one. Let's start here. Select maybe this surface and maybe that one. Go for three millimeters and this looks good. The first one should go up and the second one should go to the outside. Preview, finish, cancel this out. Great. So next I could go for my stripe emboss. Just save it. So that would be base two. Let's group them. Yeah, let's group, group them and call it rename base two. Yeah. So I will do it in a different way than in uh, Katia and, and X because I'm lacking certain commands or I can't find them. Don't know. So let's go for surfacing. I want to project this line onto that surface. Let's see what we do have here. Along a vector, yes. Okay, and the vector would be I could go for a plane like this. Yeah, that's okay. And confirm. Finish. Cancel this out. Now I want to make an extrude with that curve. Let's see if we can do an extruded one with this one. Yeah, right click. Make it symmetric. Make it six. Finish cancel this out. Okay, now let's hide base to group. Yeah, and even hide that offset base. I need to make an offset of this one. So go for surfacing offset this surface, not single, but a body. And make it six millimeters to that direction. Finish, cancel this out. Now I want to use ruled surfaces. So go to ruled. Again, it's tapered. Select that surface right here. And then select a chain edge. That would be this one. 
okay and now make it you know maybe 20 that's okay but the angle should be if I switch it it goes to the right direction that's okay and 30 degrees let's take a look looks okay so I could of course confirm that same on the other side select again that surface go for the chain that would be of course this edge chain looks again pretty good so just confirm okay maybe I think that was not six it was 12 it was six to both sides so we could make this wider by changing that extrude here so go to that extrude cancel this out no cancel this out okay i want to change that extrude i need it to be not six but maybe ten finish okay that's more like it because as, I, as far as i remember i went five to both sides so that's okay now I could do fillets here and I could do start with the fillets, go for a round, make it again a surface blend, select this surface and that one. Go for three millimeters go down go to the inside preview finish same on the other one select this one that one three millimeters this should go down or that should go to the inside yes preview finish cancel this out now i want to use that surface for another root one so go to root select that surface now select not a chain but single edge this edge yeah and i need 45 degrees somehow let's take a look 45 the other way around yes that's okay 20 millimeters okay confirm now I want to extend that one, so go to extend this edge, right click along that direction and make it, yeah 15 should do the trick, and confirm, finish, same on the other hand, here select the surface not extend but cancel this out go for root one select the surface it's tapered select that edge let's take a look maybe yeah that's okay confirm cancel this out and go for another extend and maybe again 15 and finish cancel this out and now I should be able to do some blends hopefully so go for home round 
surface blend between that surface and this surface. Let's go for eight millimeters just to see. And this should go down and that should go down. I think that will work. Preview, finish, same on the other side. Select this surface, that surface, make it eight millimeters, down and down. Preview, finish, cancel this out. And now I will end the first part of this exercise a little bit later than in the other programs, but hope you enjoyed it up to this point. If you did, please give it a like or leave a comment. If you want to see more, please give it a like or leave a comment. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Please subscribe to my Facebook cat fan page. I want to get more subscriptions and likes over there as well. So thanks for watching. See you to the second part of this exercise. Bye bye.